Hello and welcome to Reamp Roundup, a weekly summary of energy news from the Upper Midwest region. It's the week of August 23, 2010, and I'm Jenna Hartwig Wade. President Obama visited Menominee, Wisconsin to admire ZBB Energy Corporation's energy storage manufacturing facility. After doing a tour, he addressed the company's workers. He said they were pointing, pointing the nation toward a brighter economic future, according to the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. ZBB Energy hopes to hire about 80 workers in the future. Illinois Governor Pat Quinn has signed a law mandating solar energy in the state. It requires utilities to purchase 6% of their energy from solar sources by 2015. Quinn said it's important that the state have a green way of thinking and acting, according to the Associated Press. Minnesota's Excel Energy has filed plans to cut 900 megawatts of coal-fired power from its facilities in Colorado. The utility will also add pollution controls to about 950 megawatts of coal on separate facilities, according to the Colorado Independent. The steps will help Excel to comply with Colorado's Clean Air, Clean Jobs Act, which requires the utility to clean up its coal plant pollution. A biodiesel plant in north central Illinois has reopened after being shuttered since March of 2009. That's when previous owner Nova Biosource Fuels filed for bankruptcy. But now, Iowa's Renewable Energy Group has acquired and reopened the 60,000 gallon a year plant. Renewable Energy Group said most of Illinois' biodiesel comes from corn and soybean oils, in addition to animal fats and restaurant grease, according to the Chicago Tribune. South Dakota's famous Wind Cave in the Black Hills National Forest has reduced its electric bills by 80 percent. Workers replaced the cave's incandescent lighting system with a compact fluorescent LED system, according to the Rapid City Journal. The cave is naturally so dark that a person can't see his hand in front of his face. However, the new lighting system works well to show off the cave's formations. And that's it for this week. For more on these stories, go to reamp.org. From all of us at Reamp Roundup, thank you for being with us. Please join us next week.